All right, what's up guys? It's OMG Techie here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take out the rear seats of a 94 to 2001 Acura Integra. Now I'm actually doing this for two reasons. Number one is because when I got my Acura Integra, I didn't see many videos out there on how to take out the back seats and how to gut the uh, interior back there. But today I'm just doing the seats, but if you guys wanna see me gut the whole interior, I'll show you guys how to do that too in a future video. But number two is because I actually got my seat belt stuck on that side in the seat and i had to remove it to get it back out because i got that stuck when i was installing my vinyl wrap but anyways yeah so let's go ahead and jump into this tools you will need is probably pliers and uh i'm not really sure if I'll tell you guys when i get back there but anyways let's go ahead and jump into this all right so here we are at the back of my integrity it's a little bit dirty i'm sorry about that i'll clean that out but uh anyways yeah so it's a little bit windy as well i hope you guys can hear me but the first thing i want to do is put down your back seats like this and the second thing you're going to want to do is take off this carpeting. Now there's some Velcro around the edges and then there's these little uh, clips that are holding this in. And you could try to just pull it out with the carpet, but I don't suggest doing that. It could ruin it. So just get a screwdriver and pop those out. Boom. Harbor Freight screwdrivers. It's the way to go. Eight bucks for this whole thing. Cheap. One of them already broke, but they work. All right, so I got the first one out on this seat. I believe there's four or five on each seat, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did it. So you just gotta get your screwdriver under there and kind of pry it up. And eventually you can just pull it out with your fingers once you get it pried up enough. So yeah, like I said, there's like four or five on each seat. You're just gonna have to remove all these and then the carpeting will come off. I'm not gonna take out my sub because it's unnecessary for this and it's I don't really have anywhere to put it. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna finish taking the rest of these out and I'll get back to you guys. So make sure you don't lose the clips either. I have mine right here inside this little tray right here where the handbrake goes. So make sure you don't lose those because you will be reusing them. But from here, all you have to do is just throw the carpet off. And there's actually some more clips down here. This one just came off. And then you can just pull these tabs and they come out. They're on both sides. And then we're gonna move to the back for the next step. All right, so once you get all the carpeting off, there should be a little clip here on this side. The same one on the other side I'll show you. All you have to do is take some pliers, grip onto it, and basically just yank it out. It looks like that. So same thing on the other side. So just keep that one there for now. Same thing on the other side. It should be in the same exact place. And boom. That's it. So keep those in a safe place, obviously. So all you have to do from here is kind of push it to the side and lift it out. And that is it. All you have to do is do that same thing on the other side. So yeah, like I said, just repeat it on the other side. It's actually kind of hard to do this with one hand. So I'm just going to put down the camera and I'll get back to you. All right, so after you get all the back seats off, all you have to do is kind of lift this up. It might take a little bit of force, but don't worry. It's only held in by those little hooks and that thing. And then all you have to do is lift it up, remove the seat belts from the little thing. And boom, that is how you take out the back seat of your car. So uh, yeah, so like I said, I was doing this so I could get this seat belt out, so I better do that right now. There we go. All right. All right, so that's basically it for this video, guys. As you guys can see, my whole back of my car is pretty much destroyed just to get that seat belt out. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep the camera out of the wind. It is super windy today. But anyways, yeah, so let me know if you guys want any more tutorials on this car. I know tons of stuff, so leave suggestions down in the comments down below. Also, I should be getting rims in the next two to three weeks probably, so keep an eye on that because I'm definitely getting rims because I need new tires. Let me show you guys my tires. It's actually ridiculous. I, mean, uh, I don't know if you guys can actually see it. I mean, the back ones aren't as bad as the front ones, but they are really, really low. But anyways, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see some more tutorials. And uh, yeah, like the video if this helped you out. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.